Please subscribe math.com for any query, comment or email. Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss a very important concept that is the surface area of cylinder. Basically surface area of cylinder is the number of square units it takes to cover the surface of a cylinder. We will find out its surface area by drawing a cylinder, a cylindrical shape that will help you to find the area of the cylinder. This is the cylinder. There are three parts of the cylinder basically that makes up basically the surface area of the cylinder. This is the part one, this is the part two and this is the part three. First of all we will label them one by one in order to discuss it easily. This is the radius of the circle or the radius of the part one. As part one is a circular shape so it is it, it must have a radius so we will represent it by r and this is the radius of the part 2 as this is also the uh, all, this is the same part as that of the part 1 as both the parts are parallel to each other so this is the cylinder with the top part with the part uh, with the radius r and the bottom uh, with the radius r as well the third part is the side of the cylinder so let's see how you can find the surface area of a cylinder by using these three parts so area is consists of basically the sum of part 1 plus part 2 plus part 3 let's calculate the part 1 by 1 so by putting the values in it we can easily find the surface area of the cylinder first we have the part 1 part 1 is basically the circle and as we need to find the area so we will find the area of circle so part 1 is equals to area of circle that is equals to pi r square where pi is constant and r is the radius of the circle as it is already given. Then we have the part 2. Part 2 is again the same part having the radius r is the 8 circle. So we will consider its area as area of circle equals to pi r square. Both of, uh, both of the circles are parallel to each other and have the same size that's why their radius is same so we have taken the r in both the um, expressions. Now the last part is part 3 it, that is different from them because part 3 is basically the area of side of cylinder when unrolled forms rectangle it means when we unroll the this cylindrical shape we will get a a rectangle okay for example this is the point from where we will start uh, unrolling this cylinder what we will do we will when we unroll it we will have a rectangular shape now one thing we have missed here is the height this is the high edge height of the cylinder so we have three uh, two parts of the cylinder one is the radius and the other is the height so these are very important things in order to calculate the surface area of the cylinder so we were on part 3. So, the for part 3, we have to consider the area of rectangle. So, part 3 is equals to area of rectangle. Okay. So, area of rectangle, what will be the area of rectangle here? We have to find it out, that out. Let's get, find it out as the radius of cylinder. This is also the radius and this is the height of the cylinder. Okay. We are going to calculate the part 3. Of the surface area part 3 is equals to the area of rectangle so for area of rectangle if we start unrolling this cylinder from here we will get a rectangular shape I'll draw it as like this we will get a shape like this so for this we are having a height of h okay, this is the height and one thing is left here is the width height is given but what will be the width of the rectangle in this case for width of the rectangle we have to consider the circumference of the circle so for that as area of the rectangle is equal to length into width and we are having the length that is equal to h that is height but we don't have the width so we will find the width through circumference of circle. So circumference of circle is equals to pi r. Okay. So the radius is r. So we will take it as as it is. If the radius were will be 
20 then we will put r uh, the value of r as 20 okay in order to find the circumference as c is equals to 2 pi r we will put the value of this c that is equals to weight here okay in order to find the area of rectangle or the part 3 so part 3 is equals to height into 2 pi r so what we will get 2 pi r h okay so that's all from the part 3 for uh, finding the surface area of the cylinder we will put this value into the surface area formula what was that surface area of cylinder is equals to part 1 that was the area of the circle plus part 2 that was the area of another circle plus part 3 that is the area of the side of the cylinder that is actually uh, the rectangle when we unfold the cylinder. So part 1 is pi r square plus part 2 is pi r square plus part 3 is this one. Okay, We will put 2 pi r h and what will be the answer? Pi r square plus pi r square will be 2 pi r square plus 2 pi r h. So this is the surface area of a cylinder having the radius r and the height h. That is all about how you can find the surface area of a cylinder if you are given with the radius and the height. Uh, let's use this formula in an example that how you can find the surface area. If we have a cylinder of which radius and height is given as the radius of the cylinder here is r is equals to 5 cm and the height of this cylinder is h is equals to 8 cm then how you will find the area of this surface area of this cylinder let's find its surface area by using the formula as we have already calculated as 2 pi r square plus 2 pi r h as we have the quantities r and h so we can easily find by putting the values in this formula so we will write as 2 into pi will be written as it is or you can also put its value multiplied by value of r is 5 centimeter so 5 centimeter square plus 2 into pi into 5 centimeter is the radius multiplied by 8 centimeter is the height what we will get we will get 5 uh, as there is 5 squares so 25 into 2 is 50 so 50 pi centimeter square plus 5 to the 10 10 into 8 is 80 so 80 pi centimeter square it will give you with 130 pi centimeter square that is the surface area of this given cylinder so this is how you can find the surface area of any uh, cylinder ha having the radius and the height by using the formula as we have already calculated that's all from today's from today's uh, lecture thank you for watching if you like this video please don't forget to subscribe our channel math.com for more updates thank you